Welcome. We will begin shortly. Hi, I'm Rashawn Eleven with Keller Williams Realty, Kingstown. This webinar is about Islamic financing. The webinar is for educational purposes only and the information is based on Guidance Residential, a company headquartered in Reston, Virginia. So today's agenda, I'll talk a little bit about me. What is Islamic financing, property types, occupancy type, steps to buying a home, and frequently asked questions. I'm a licensed realtor in Virginia, Maryland, and DC with over 17 years of experience. I have assisted over 10 buyers with Islamic financing in the past, and I'm also a notary public. I found that it makes sense for me to create a webinar for educational purposes because it's a lot of unknowns with the program. So I wanted to make it, put it out there for people to learn more about the program if they choose to, to use it. So what is Islamic financing? According to the Islamic faith, interest is forbidden, which means it goes against the laws of the Muslim faith. So if you are is of Muslim faith, you won't be able to get a loan with a conventional or other type of loan such as FHA financing because that goes against the faith. So Guidance fin Residential created a co-ownership agreement program along with a trade, a user trade fee, which is similar to interest, but it's not interest. So they have a 15, 20, or 30 year term. When you buy with the co-ownership agreement, you would own the property based on the percentage that you put down on the property. For, for instance, if you purchase a home with 20% down, then you would only own 20% of the property and Guidance Financial would own 80% of the property, though you will be able to use the full benefits of the home, meaning that you can use the home and the company will not basically barge in because it's still your, your property. You have 100% usage rights to the home. If the property is sold for a profit at a later date, you will be able to keep 100% of the equity earned, which is a great thing. The maximum loan amount will depend on the county of the property that you choose to purchase as well as your qualifying amount. So let's talk about property types for the program. Purchase a single family home, condominium, or a multi-unit, up to four units. Now let's talk about occupancy type allowed with the program. So there is a large range of options with regards to occupancy. The property could be your primary residence, meaning your only home. It could be a second home, vacation home, or it could be a non-owner occupied, or it could be a rental property. So steps to buying a home. First, you get your pre-approval. Guidance Residential is licensed in Virginia, Maryland, and D.C., as well as other areas. For those watching in other states, there are other Islamic financing companies throughout the uh, United States. Though, as far as Guidance Residential, they are not licensed in Alaska, Hawaii, Idaho, Louisiana, Maine, Montana, Nebraska, New Hampshire, New Mexico. North Dakota, Oklahoma, South Dakota, Utah, Vermont, Wyoming, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. Next, you find an agent that is familiar with the program and you hire them as your buyer's agent. Then you begin shopping for homes, finishing all your contingency deadlines, making sure that the home is suitable for you with the home inspection, and your agent will assist you with all those things to get you to closing. After everything is complete with your financing, at that point, that's when you would sign your co-ownership agreement at closing, and you get your keys, and you move in. So frequently asked questions. So how much is closing cost and why is it expensive? So closing cost is based on figures given by the title company. So they're going to include 
uh, lender fees. They're going to include items um, regarding recording for the actual mortgage. So those fees add up to be about 3% of the sales price. I know that's expensive, but that's just the way it is. Those fees can't be avoided. They have to be paid, and the lender is not going to pay for those. So the fees, can you can ask the seller to pay for closing costs. Though keep in mind the type of market that you're in. If it is a seller's market, it's not likely that you will get closing costs. So to ask for it, you won't get the house. Just being honest, you, you need to be prepared before you enter the market so you know and you have clear expectations. Though if you're in a buyer's market, you can ask for closing costs. So, you know, but keep that in mind. So 3% of the sales price in addition to what your down payment is. So if you're putting down 20%, then you basically need 23% total to be able to close. So is there a credit check? There is a credit check involved to be compliant in a sellable loan, which I'll discuss next. The lender has to determine your risk for borrowing money. So that's why a credit check is needed. Are you paying your bills on time? Um, do you actually have a social security number? It's all those things have to be taken care of. So what is the role of Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae? The role of Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae is that they buy mortgages and become servicers for the mortgages. The reason why this is popular and needed is it allows leverage for a company like Guidance Residential to free up money so they'll be able to service more clients. So, you know, when you close, they'll sell the loan to them, and then that allows them to have more money, more leverage to assist other buyers. Because if they don't, if they just have your loan, then they can't help other people. So, if it's a co-ownership, why not share the cost of the property maintenance? Even though it's a co-ownership purchase, the property maintenance and other fees such as taxes, homeowners association or condo association, exterior or interior maintenance is the sole responsibility of the owner, borrower, meaning you, and the funds for the funds or maintenance and the company lending the money, they do, are not responsible for that because you have, remember what I said, 100% use of the property. The company does not have use of the property, you do. So that's why it's your responsibility. So next, can you sell the property? Of course, you can sell the property at any time and keep any equity earned during your time of ownership. That's your right part of the program. Is there any prepayment penalty? No, there is no prepayment prepayment penalty. You have the freedom to pay off your loan early. If you decide to pay it off in a year, in six months, in 10 years, whatever, it's, you know, if it's 30 years and you decide to pay it off in 20 years, that's your right and you can do so. So next thing, it's not listed on here, though, do you have to be of Islamic faith to use Islamic financing? No, you do not. You do not have to be of Islamic faith to use Islamic financing as long as you qualify based on their guidelines and program. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you with your quest for learning more about Islamic financing. If you have any additional questions, please give me a call at 240-284-4114. If you need an agent in your area, it's outside of my area, I'd be happy to assist you with finding an agent in your area to find somebody that actually knows about the program to guide you and walk you through the process. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe.